Hey, it's Kip K from Make Magazine with another weekend project. We have a few of these garden variety solar powered lamps in our yard, and while they perform as expected, there's still room for improvement. Well, today, we're going to give this solar powered lamp a unique voice of its own on this week's weekend project. The Electronic Crickets Project by Michael Spishinsky can be found in Make Volume 11, page 154. There are quite a few components in this Electronic Crickets Project, and the circuit board is not for the timid. It's a pretty involved build with a number of resistors, capacitors, thermistor, a little audio amp, and uh, some transformers. And you'll build it according to this schematic, which is also part of the PDF on MakeZine.com. So fire up your soldering station and let's get to work. By laying out all the components, we'll begin soldering each of them according to the schematic. You're going to want to build this with the smallest possible footprint because the circuit board is going to need to be chopped up and made very small in order to fit into our solar lamp. When it's all done, we need to get to our solar lamp, uh, flip it over, and we've already removed the circuit board here because we need to locate the LED, which we will be removing and hanging on to because we're going to use that in our new circuit. Solder in two wires that are connected to the old LED location on the yard light because those are going to go to our new circuit positive and negative connections. We're going to use a small speaker for the output of our electronic crickets, and we're going to hook that up to the one side of the audio transformer. Then we're going to install the salvaged LED that we removed from the yard lamp and install that in our circuit. And the final step is hooking up the positive and negative lines going from our yard light circuit to our new circuit board. And we make our last battery connection to test it out. Now by adjusting the potentiometer, you can change the sound of your cricket. Make it faster or slower, and a higher pitch or lower pitch. Gather everything together and install it in our yard lamp. I used some hot glue to hold the circuit board in place. And if the batteries aren't fully charged, you may want to leave it out in the sun for a couple of hours. This Make Weekend project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. Our electronic cricket yard lamp is built and ready to be tested, but there's one more thing we need to wait for, and that's for the sun to go down. The electronic cricket is pretty impressive. It flashes, and if you had a number of these, let's say six or seven of them scattered around your yard, it would make a wonderful nighttime chorus. There's your solar yard lamp electronic crickets, and we'll see you next time with another weekend project.